Now what Gary's doing here is he's actually crushing up the two cups of popcorn, right? You tell us, Gary, yeah, what's this, happening? Well, you see, this is something you give your kids to do. You give them a couple of hammers mm -hmm. and, you know, and just have them wail on it. You just crush it up real good. Just get it all, you know, yep. mixed up there in the bag. Yep. You just put it in a plastic bag and use a rolling pin or anything? Yep, just like right. that. That's probably good right Like there. I say, the kids do a better job. <laughs> yeah, right, all right. And then what do we do after that? We just get it all into small pieces. Yeah, let's say I did this a real good job of it. Yeah, it looks, that looks good. It looks good. And we stick it in the bowl here. This is easy, Well, first too, of all, no, let's, let, we've got to add all the ingredients. Okay. Oh, right. okay. Cheese. The, uh, cream cheese. Okay, cream throw cheese. that in. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> My, okay. You're going to enjoy this. I milk. love this. Milk. I love this. Okay, the milk. We just throw the milk in. Half the paprika. Half the paprika. About half. Pa paprika, right? Yeah, yeah. paprika. Okay. Half. okay, that's good. Garlic. Half of it or all of it? All of it. All of it. Okay. Go for it. Uh, and uh, the blue cheese. Blue cheese. Leave that parsley alone. Okay. Okay. Oops. Okay, now you get no no. No. Oh, that's all, right. all right, leave that alone. Okay, okay now mix. mix it up just with a spoon or something. Yeah, or anything, anything you want there. Do you guys do you guys make this for like family gatherings and stuff? Um usually I let uh, the real chefs do it. My, yeah. my acquaintance with chefs chefs goes to people like Boy R D. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just get this all gooey and yeah, this there looks, you go. looks good. Roll the ball. Okay, now ball. you got to try and roll it up with your hands. Oh, roll it in a ball? Yeah. Ah, here comes here the fun go. part, folks. Huh? Stand in back. <laughs> you stand in the back. No, so you just get it in the, you use your hands, right? Yeah, you just roll it up in a ball. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Ball. It sticks to your hand. You want to dump that in there? Go ahead. There we go. We're going to dump so all you, this. You take the crushed here. popcorn, you put it in a dish. Yep. All right. Help me pour that out there, Grandpa. Okay. That's good. All right, look out, folks. I got it in my hand now. No, no. Parsley in. Rest of the paprika. Mix it up good. You're good at this, aren't I'm you? Good. He's, yeah? he's done this before, I'd say. Now, yeah, uh, Orville uh, just had a birthday. How, how, do you mind me asking how old? 84. 84 years old. Stop watching, huh? All right, so just wait, 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 wait. throw this in here. <laughs> you don't do that? You just roll it? Roll you kind of roll it around. Oh, look at this, folks. Wow. Now, usually the kids would have mashed it up a little bit better, the popcorn. So, um, so the popcorn. Jerry makes a good kid, though. <laughs> That's right. Not bad. Oh, no. I'm really. I'm really making a mess here. So you just take it. You, you know what? Coat I'll do? it. You there you go. Oh. You have to taste it. There we go. Look at that. It's kind of nice, it's huh? It's coming out pretty yeah, good now. Not there you bad. Go. All right, then we put it right over here. All right. Well, there's a... Okay. What do I do, do, I do wrong? Huh? Wait, that's right. Go ahead and put right, it right there. Let me get this darn thing out of my hand. <laughs> All right, so I put it right there. And look. There you go. Yeah. Look, Mom, no mess. Right. Okay. Gary, why don't you take this over okay, to the yeah. table here, if you don't mind, and we'll show everybody else... Some other things the you other, can do. Now, now tell us what this here. This looks like a pie. You make a, a pie with popcorn? Well, well the, the ingredients, yes. Uh, the crust is the popcorn. Oh, okay. and we crush up the popcorn like that. We add a little bit of butter, and you know, and you just make a crust. And this yeah. is yogurt in here. What about this here? This is pizzeria popcorn. <laughs> That's kind of neat. <laughs> it, it, what do you have, cheese and... Uh, uh, a lot of different spices and stuff that you put on uh, yeah. a little bit of tomato um, paste. Well, I'll tell you what. I made a mess. Why don't we... T I can just lick my fingers to taste this, but let's do it the right way and just real quick get a taste of this. Here you go. Oh, that's real good. Here you go, Orville. Good. You don't mind my fingers? Not at all. And Gary, you guys know what this tastes like, though, don't you? Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, but I got to taste Although this. Although I have a feeling yours Very is going to be special. A special one? <laughs> I so specially dropped it. Oh. Oh, good. boy. That's good. I can start. That's real good. Look at that. <laughs> Congratulations. You want to oh, shake my hand? <laughs> it's pretty good there. I don't think you want to shake my hand, Orville. All right, after I've made a complete mess out of all of this, if you would like a copy of the recipe seen here today, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Popcorn, Care of Attitudes, 34-12, 36th Street, Astoria, New York, 11106. Orville and Gary Redenbacher, great stuff. And right in for the recipes, folks, you can do a lot more with popcorn than just put it in the microwave and then in a bowl. All right, good fun, you guys. Thanks. Linda. Well, this week we've learned to apply concealer, foundation, how to create beautiful eyes and a gorgeous mouth. Now it's on to the final secret, lesson four, which is applying blusher. 
And back with us, of course, is Sonia Kashuk. Hi, Sonia. Nice Hi, to see you again. Nice to see you, too. All right. Blusher is really very important because you can ruin the whole look if right. you put it on wrong. Right. Correct? Correct. Now, what are the s tricks or things that we should know when we buy a blusher? To not go too strong in color and to stay in a tone where you naturally blush. Meaning, don't buy a purple blush because you're not going to naturally blush purple. Correct? Correct. Good so point. Stay yes. in a tone where you are natural. Okay. Let's start. Hi, Lillian. Hi. Lillian's back. All made up like she's been all the steps. Now the final one is the blush. Now, you would keep her in the brown, uh, I'm staying kind of within color. the soft pinky orangey tone. Okay. Okay? Turn okay. this way just a bit. Beginning on the apple of the cheek and just dusting, I'm going to turn you just a bit more, there you go, and then dusting it into the hairline. And I'm working in circular motions so, so that no lines are seen. Why do we get those little blotchy because patch you, things? Because you apply it in a, in a straight line and blush should not be applied like that. You don't naturally blush in a straight line, right? Ah. Again, the same theory. And you go all the way up into the hairline? All the way into the hairline. But again, make sure that there are no hard lines whatsoever. And it really is the final glow on the face. All right, now you'll notice that our girls today are back dressed in very vibrant colors. They're by Bettina Rydell. We thank her for, for borrowing her clothes. And it just helps to further the look that you're seeing on them. Now, blusher should not look as though you have blusher on. Absolutely should not. Should just look like a healthy glow. Okay. Period. Okay, now what about contouring? Contouring, I think, is best for TV, as for you or for anybody when you're having hard lights. But for the average person out there watching the show, I, I do not suggest it. I think it's a very difficult task to achieve right. Okay. And it's, it's very you difficult. You get that, that dark Absolutely. gray line, Sitting which underneath looks yes. like you need to have surgery in some right. form. Let's go over to Karen. Okay. Hi, Karen. Hi. Well, you look beautiful. Oh. Now, what blusher will you put on Karen? I'm using a deeper, warmer kind of a wine tone that also on a black skin tone, you have to make sure you have a color that's going to show up. Right. So what I'm using here is a beautiful color actually from Aveda that is a beautiful wine it burgundy tone and just, again, gives an effervescent highlight to the cheeks. Now, you don't put any, like, on the forehead or under the if chin you want, or down on the neck? just a hint. But, you know, again, it's going to look odd if all of a sudden a pink spot is showing up on the face meaning on the forehead or onto yeah. the neck area. Yeah. So I really try to keep it just into the apple of the cheek. Now, blusher must be put on after the foundation yes. and, the, and, and the powder. And the powder. And if it's looking too hard to you, to your eye when you look in the mirror, right. just take a little bit of powder and, put and it over blend it. over it. Okay. And it'll soften it up just a now, bit. Now, is there some kind of powder we should use? Can we use the ones that are in the cases or yes. should we use loose powder? No, the compacts are fine. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to the beginning of these two gals. We're going to show you the way they looked with a clean face, a picture of that, and go through each day and the steps that we have done to achieve this look. All right, let's see the befores. This is Lillian, clean face, okay? Now let's see Lillian, the first day when we did her foundation. This is concealer blended with the right. foundation, real okay. important. Yeah, right. Now this is, oh, you're getting better all the time, Lillian. Yeah. This is Lillian with eye makeup on. Right, and done and very brows. soft. We're looking very. for just a very clean, finished, soft look. Beautiful. Oh, now Lillian with a lipstick added. Right, just a hint of color just to balance the eyes. Again, we were looking for a monochromatic face. Again, very soft. And now Lillian, now look at the this. The finished look. Whoa. Beauty. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at Karen. This is Karen, before, with a clean face. There you are, Karen. Okay, now let's see Karen the first day with the concealer and the foundation. Okay. Now Wait, the second day, let's see Karen, that's Look with her the eyes. Of the eyes. Boy, you're not kidding. Huh? And now the lips added to that. Again, see the intensity yeah. still staying on the eyes for the yeah. look we were trying to yeah. achieve? And now with the blush. Look at see the healthy glow that it looks? <laughs> you like how you look? It looks great. It looks great. You really do. All right. Now, we want to go to 10 top tips for the week. All the things that you should remember. There are only 10 of them, so you don't, you don't go off the track when you're putting on your makeup. Number one, use a light moisturizer. Number two, use a concealer. 
It should be one shade lighter than your foundation and blend it well. Number three, foundation. Match it to the facial tone, blend it very well, and please don't forget the neck and put powder on the neck. Four, powder your face to set that foundation. Linda, you're gonna become a makeup artist. I know, I am, I, I can feel it in me, yes. For <laughs> eyeshadows, you need to stick to the neutral colors. Number six, apply darker shadow near the lid and lighter near the brow. You understand that? Gives okay. a beautiful contour. Right. Number seven, use an eyeliner only if desired on the upper lid only. On the lower lid, use eyeshadow and smudge it a little. Okay, just ever so little so it's softer. Number eight, use eyeshadow to correct the brows, not a pencil, it's softer.